people are always asking me how I got started as a Medicare agent. This video is sponsored by Lead Heroes, you guys. Lead Heroes has got you covered when it comes to telemarketing leads, whether it be Medicare supplement leads, final expense leads, turning 65 leads, they just got something for everybody. Also guys, they got you covered when it comes to virtual staffing. If you're having trouble hiring somebody, finding a good person, um, or maybe even having the budget to hire a full-time person, Lead Heroes has got you covered because you can actually hire one of their virtual staff members to work from you um, from afar and they've already gone through the vetting process with Lead Heroes to be able to find a good quality individual. So go ahead and um, check them out. All right, guys. Um, one thing I want to talk to you guys about today is I want to discuss my story. A lot of people are always asking about my story, kind of how I got into the business. Uh, I've made videos about this in the past, but they've kind of been buried in the channel. So I thought I would just do an updated, um, revised version of this of this video and kind of my background. So <clears throat> as many of you probably know, I'm a second generation Medicare agent. Um, my dad was in the business for about 25 years before I ever even was started. He was, he had already been in for 25 years before I even got started. I started at the, at the young age of 20. And when I came into the business, you guys, um, I had the good fortune of being able to work with my dad. My dad brought me into the office, contracted me as a 1099 agent, an independent agent, um, and I got to work in the office. And I think the main thing that I was able to benefit from that was I was able to get um, a very seasoned mentor, you know, a very seasoned teacher to be able to kind of show me the ropes, help me from making certain kinds of mistakes that I probably may have made otherwise. Um, and, you know, it was kind of an interesting situation, right? So I, I came into the business with a, with a very good friend of mine, right? And, um, my friend and me were in an MLM together actually before the insurance business, right? And that did kind of blew up in our faces. So we went and we, I, I said, I'm like, Hey, you know, my dad's an in insurance. We can go work with my dad. <laughs> That's kind of how it started. And me and my friend went and talked with my dad at his office. You know, my, my dad got to meet him to see if maybe he might be a good candidate to come kind of work together. And my dad liked him and they kind of hit it off. And so, um, he brought us both into the office. We both, um, studied to get our insurance licenses. I failed mine a couple times before I actually passed it. Um, that's why I always tell people like the ability to pass a test means absolutely nothing in this business. I have known people that will ace an ex exam, right? They'll get, they'll get a hundred on AHIP the first try and they couldn't sell their way out of a paper bag, right? Um, they just have the personality of like a, you know, a wall, if you will. It, it, it's nice to be able to pass a test, but it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. You have to be able to pass the test, but you know, I mean, it could be a, it could be a pain point for you. I've gotten better at taking tests over the years, having to do a hip and certifications every year. Um, but it was never a strong suit of mine. Now I'm now I can whiz right through it, but, um, it's something that I had to take time to actually learn. So we come into the business the first day, my dad just does some general basic, you know, teaching with us about Medicare advantage, part A and B Medicare supplements, things like that. And day two, I'll never forget it. I remember it like it was yesterday. My dad built his business cold calling people turning 65 for Medicare supplements in the 90s and the early 2000s. That's how he built his business. Um, and so when we come into the business, on day two, he hands us a, a, a script, a phone list, and phones, and says, here you go. Call, try to make some appointments, have fun. And we're just like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> just like, can't you, can't you demonstrate for us? Can't you show us a call first? And he's like, fine. So gets this old list. Now, granted, the first list we called was not people turning 65. It was old, old, old list, you know, just trying to practice on. And um, <clears throat> he makes a call. First call, someone answers the phone. He starts talking with him, has a conversation with him. And he gets this close to getting an appointment with her to talk about a hospital indemnity plan. She already had a Medicare Advantage plan. It was in the middle of June when I started. Um, and we were just like in awe. You know, we're both like 20 years old watching. We're like, <laughs> and um so in the business, that's kind of how I was taught to build the business. Now, would I do that today? No, I would not. I would probably do things a little differently today. But I didn't know any better. I thought that's what everybody did. And so essentially, more or less, guys, what, what I did was I was cold calling people turning 65. I was calling 
Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays if necessary. I was trying to make three to 500 phone calls a day if I could get it in. Um, trying to, you know, and I wasn't doing anything fancy. We didn't have a power dialer. We didn't have, you know, any kind of tools or techniques. We had my finger on the list, going down the list, and a phone. Do, 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 do. Very old school. Um, but I was able to get business by doing that. We're trying to schedule appointments to go to somebody's house um, Thursday through Saturday, essentially, and trying to fill those days as much as possible. And I was able to go in my first, you know, my first three years or so, I was able to go from zero to six figures really on the back of that. Um, it took time. I think if I knew what I knew today, I could probably do it in a year, year and a half um, if I started from scratch. But back then, I didn't know those things. But I was a very hard worker. I powered through. I hustled very, very hard. I, I grinded, you know, at the beginning. At the beginning, I couldn't afford to pay my bills, right? I was living in an apartment at the time. I didn't have a lot of bills, right? I didn't have a kid. I wasn't married, didn't have anything like that. I was dating my wife, who's my wife now, um, but I didn't have a lot of expenses, but I still had some expenses. So I worked part-time at my job that I was working at previously, which the job was at an assisted living facility. I was a wait, wait staff individual. I was um, night security at times. I was concierge at times. Um, I did activities at times. I kind of wore a lot of different hats in that place but worked in the kitchen, but essentially, you know, I was working 12 hour shifts Saturday and 12 hour shifts Sunday. So 24 hours in two days at that job. And then I was working Monday through Friday, 12 hours a day trying to build the business. Um, so I was working seven days a week, 12 hour days each and every day, which is grueling if you've ever done that, right? I mean, that's, that's essentially, you know, 84 hours a week. And I was doing that every single week for probably about six months before I finally was making enough money from the business consistently where I could completely walk away from my job. And <clears throat> essentially, you know, I what what cold calling did for me, you guys, and like I said, I don't it's 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 a it's a less and less and less viable way to do your business. It is inefficient, it is grueling. Um, 99% of the people you're going to call do not want to talk to you and they're mad that you're calling for the most part. Um, but you have, it's essentially going through the, the, looking for the diamond in the rough. You know, you're going through the dirt to get to the gold. Um, and you're just looking for that one call that's going to be gold or that couple of calls a day that's going to be gold. Um, I was able to become an incredibly um, well-versed on the phone. This would serve me later on in my career working leads and other things like that. To this day, I can pretty much work any lead and I can be successful with it. Um, and that's because of my experience on the phone and cold calling. What I was doing was grueling and it was hardcore. Um, and I didn't even realize it was hardcore back then. <laughs> um, this is what I always tell people. Like, I'm not saying that people have to come into the business and cold call today, but if you do and you can you do it for three to six months, um, you'll have an advantage over other people on the phone. I can guarantee that. Um, but like I said, it's not the most efficient way to do your business, right? So I, I don't even think I would do it if I had to go back and do it again. I might do it for a short amount of time just to kind of get the chops down. If I just... If I knew that that's what I needed to kind of get those chops down. But essentially, um, kind of what happened was as time went on, you know, I became a top producer. Um, I've been a top producer for six Medicare carriers, um, most of which multiple times over. Um, some of them I've been top producers for every single year that I've been in the business. Um, I grew a clientele. I was making multiple six figures for many, many years. I started to advance the way that we do business, right? And so I started doing things differently than my dad. And... Um, Really, for a while, we didn't really see eye to eye in terms of how we wanted to do things. And so, you know, what we ended up doing was I incorporated my company and I, of course, you know, I was never LOA or anything like that. I took my clients and I, I created my own company. And um, now today, you know, my company has grown to such an extent that um, we actually are in a situation now where, you know, I lease the office from him and um, <clears throat> he, he works with some of his contracts under my company because my company was able to get bigger contracts because we're in growth mode, right? And we're, we have a lot of agents, we have a lot of production, and we're able to kind of get some of these contracts now. So we've grown a lot. And what we've been able to do to kind of innovate is, you know, we've been making content, putting our business out there freely and aggressively advertising the business through um, digital marketing, mailers, buying leads when things are slow, again, hiring staff. These are things that I wanted to do that my dad necessarily didn't want to do in his business. Um, and I feel like, you know, it's helped us grow. It's helped us kind of get to a place where we're in position now to really take a great step. But um, that's essentially my starting, kind of how I got started in the Medicare game. 
Um, I'd love to hear your, a little bit about your guys' story without going into too much detail about my own. Drop a comment down in the comment section. How did you start in the business? Um, we'd love to, I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to interact with you. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you found it um, you know, helpful for you or inspirational, do me a favor, drop a like in the video. It helps that more people like you find it. it helps with the YouTube algorithm. So please drop a like. I really would appreciate it. Um, like I said, comment below. Hit the subscribe button if you like videos like this. Um, make sure to hit the notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Here's to your success and your